Swole 25 v here, and you're watching T-Mobile 4G phones arrive in the first half of 2013. First off we have is the ZTE Wombat, which is a bar style device with a portrait QWERTY keyboard for messaging. It has a 2 megapixel camera and runs on a non-smartphone operating system, so it only includes the basic stuff. Um, the device is looking to, re to be released around the first quarter of this year, around February or March. Next off we have is, the, is another ZTE device which is called the ZTE Grand X, which runs on the Android operating system. I'm not really sure on the version. I'm thinking it'll probably be on Android 4.1 Ice Cream Sandwich, so um, who knows. Um, the device will also feature a 4.3 inch QHD display, five megapixel rear camera, plus a front facing camera, and it will have 4G from T-Mobile's HSBA Plus network. The device runs on a one, one gigahertz dual core processor i'm thinking the brand brand or maker is from intel not positive on that um the device is going to be released the second quarter of this year so we're looking around march or april next on the list is the blackberry z10 which runs room's newest operating system blackberry 10 and has a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor again i'm not sure on the maker like i have no clue <laughs> who's supplying the processors for RIM. Um, this device also has a 4.2 inch display. Um, it has LTE, NFC, Bluetooth 4.0, HSPA plus, and an eight megapixel rear camera plus a front facing camera. Um, the device will launch the first quarter of 2013 in March. Um, the, next of, the next device, which is again from RIM, will be the BlackBerry Curve. 9315 and it runs rooms older older blackberry os 7.1 it has a 3.2 megapixel camera a 2.44 inch display which is not touchscreen bluetooth 2.1 and we'll have a forge and we'll have 4g from t-mobile's hspa hspa plus network um the device will be released the first quarter of 2013 in january next on the list is the htc villi or ville i'm not really sure how to pronounce it and runs Android 4.1. It has a 4.3 inch QHD display, 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. Well, I'm thinking that will probably be from Qualcomm since, you know, Qualcomm supplies most of HTC's processors. And they'll have a rear front facing camera. There's not really much info for this device yet. So, um, yeah, um, the device is looking to release in either June to july of this year there's not really there hasn't really been any much leaks on it and when it'll be released so you know but just know it's coming to t-mobile um finally on the list is the iphone 5 4s and maybe the 4 and that's due to come out either in june may or july i'm looking at those three months as iphone months so the reason being is because when T-Mobile announced they'll be getting the iPhones, they said it will be coming in 2013 within six months. And so, six months, that's that's six months plus three going back. So, you know, hoping T-Mobile, you know, gets the device up before then. So, um, thanks for watching my video and make sure to leave a like if I help. I'm planning to make a bunch of these when I get more leaks and tips of devices and I'll probably do them from doing for different carriers as carriers as well um and that's all depending on how good of a good of a response i get on this video uh, make sure to rate like and subscribe for more of these videos and thanks for watching